are guides, we are kings. We march in faith, cause we believe we can. Change the world to what it needs. Stand against our enemies, cause we can. Yeah. We are kings, demanding change Cause we believe we can Alright, let me ask you a question real quick you read, Do you read the Bible? Do you deal with the Bible? Do you understand what this Bible deal with? Bible? Yes sir all right, so you said the religion of Jesus Christ. Which Jesus Christ? This one right here? No, but I don't believe in any Okay, so you got to be clear. Because they gave us a white image, but then when you read the Bible, they said the Bible says Christ is black. He looks like he burnt in a furnace. And he have woolly hair, just like you. Brass, but it burnt in a furnace. So a dark brown, you agree? Okay, good. Because that's in Revelation 1 and 14. Right, right. But the churches have this. A lot of the churches, you agree, have a white Jesus posted up in there, right? All of them have. All of them have. The brother said, all of the churches have a white Jesus posted up in there. So, now that we know that Christ is a black man, do you understand that you descend from the same nation of Christ? Have you ever heard that? Okay. When you read the Bible, right? What name or what nation of people do we always hear about? The nation of what? Israelites. The Israelites. You don't hear about Bahamians or Arabs or Chinese or Japanese. You hear about the Israelites. So why is it that they teach that God and Christ love all the nations of the earth and that he came to save all nations? You know the white people did that to us, man. Okay, so the brother said the white people what indoctrinated us. They did that to us. They whipped us and beat us to be a Okay, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So, do you understand that you are Israelite? Yeah, man. You knew that, or just the first time you're hearing that? No, man, I know he's Israelite. All right, the brother says he knows he's an Israelite. He knows Christ is black. He knows that they gave us in slavery a white Jesus. He knows that they lied to us, and he knows that he's an Israelite. That's right. All praises, you know a lot compared to most of our people. Yeah, man, but know, guess man. what? With that comes what? Some works got to go with that. Some action got to go behind that. You agree? Yeah, man. All right, let's read what the Bible says. Because at the end of the day, this is our heritage. It's our culture. These are our laws. These are our statutes. This is what makes us a nation of people. When we went into slavery, we lost all of that, and we started to call ourselves what? Bahamian. Jamaican, Haitian, Cuban, Do Dominican Republic, all these different lies and nations that they put on us after we have to slavery. So let's see what we should be doing as the Israelite. What should the Israelite man be doing in 2019? Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. and, now, and now Israel. And now Israel, now that you've started to wake up, now that you start to understand that you're Israelite, now you start to understand that they lie to us, read, and now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? Now Israel, now, what's your name brother? TC. TC. Alright, my name is Reuben. Nice to meet you bro. Now TC, read that part again. And now Israel. And now TC, because you're Israelite, is speaking to you. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Most High God of Israel, the Most High God of your forefathers require of you? Serve him. Serve him? Okay, let's all praises, that's true. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. How do we fear the Most High God? Do you know? By showing him love and respect and hope. We gotta like follow the commandments. Ah, that's the key. That's the key. Hold that. Let's prove that real quick. Let's prove that what TC said is important. He said, we gotta follow the commandments. Sir, uh, elderly sir, crossing the street. How you doing, sir? Right here with the cap on and the glasses. Anyway, so the reader I came here be interested. Let me ask him a question real quick. Read that. Let's prove that what TC said is correct. TC said we have to serve the Most High God, and what we got to do is commandments. We break the commandments every day. Read. 
This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 120. Uh -huh. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, uh -huh. and I am afraid of thy judgments. So our faith, read it again, read it again, read it again. My, my flesh trembled for fear of thee. So King David wrote that he was fearful of the Most High God. He had a healthy fear of the Most High God, read. And I am afraid of thy judgments. And he is afraid. He was afraid of God's judgments. At the end of the day, he was afraid that God would jack him up if he don't keep the commandments. Right. You understand that? Teach. Now, no. we, you were you were just walk across the street. Where, where were you headed? Oh, you work. You work. You work at Super Value, Exodus 20 and, and 8. You so, you know what today is? Hey, bro. Don't, don't leave just yet. I had a question for you on the bike, sir. If you have a minute, I'd just like to ask you a question before you go, sir. So you working today? You, you, you just reached to work just now? Okay, don't move. I just got a minute, one minute for you. Sir, I have a question for you. If you have a couple of minutes, I'd like to ask you a question after I bring out the scripture for him. What we out here doing is we're teaching our people that what Christ is a black man according to the Bible, that we are the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel who went to slavery for breaking God's commandments, and we're waking up in the last days, coming back to what? So we could rule the earth. That's, that's right. That, that's what this whole Bible is about. If you just have a minute, you got a couple of minutes? All right. Hey, listen, I got to give you the scripture before you go. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Uh -huh. yeah. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So as an Israelite, remember we, we read Deuteronomy 10 and 12. What is required of you? You said to serve and to keep the commandments. That's spot on. That's correct. Now, this is a commandment. The seventh day. The seventh day. You're right. Read. Is today the seventh day? Yeah, today is the seventh day. You're smart, bro. TC. Six days shall thou labor. And do all thy work. So, TC, you had Sunday to Friday. As an Israelite, because a lot of our people, they don't know the Israel. They still think they're Bahamians. They're asleep right now. So you got to be a beacon of light. You already know you're Israelite. And you already know that we're supposed to what? Have the Sabbath day off. You, exactly. But we're dealing with you right now. Because you got you to gotta be an example. Because if you go tell your brothers and sisters you're Israelite, they see you working on the Sabbath day, you be like, ah, oh, TC's a joke. You know? you know, whatever it is, he believe it. That ain't real. You need that money. Hey, there's ways to get around. And a lot of these, all of us work. The Bible says you have to work, but what? We get jobs that require us to work any days from Sunday to Friday, because the Most High Day is holy. That's what the Bible says. Read it again. But the seventh day is, it, is the Sabbath of the Lord. The seventh day. Read it from the top. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. Verse 8. Verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So remember that Sabbath or that seventh day to keep it holy. Holy means separate. Yeah. Separate, meaning different. You don't work on a day, you chill out, you come with your brothers and your sisters, you, you honor the Most High God. Read. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So Sunday to Friday to do all the work you want to do. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. But that seventh day, the Most High God said, no, that seventh day, that's different. That's, that belongs to me. You honor me on that day. Any more on that? Teach. Read. In it, thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son. So in that day, you don't supposed to do no work. Not you, you have any kids, kids children, yeah. son? Not even your children, I know you're young, so they probably don't have working age yet. No. But when they become of that age, you're supposed to put your foot down to keep the commandments, like Abraham did. He, 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 he set the example for his household and he kept the commandments. Any more of that? Nor thy daughter, thy man servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that was within thy gate. So it's so serious to the Most High God that your children, if you have someone who in from town, a family member, a friend who come in, they got to keep the commandments, your servants, your animals got to keep the commandments. That's how important the seventh day is. That's right. Exodus 31 and 16. Sir, are, were, you, were you working today? You getting out? Yeah, yeah. Well, like, as you go, let's go. We're on East okay. Street. The brother right there can give you, uh, a soldier right there can give you uh, the address and everything. It might be on the flyer as well. On the flyer? Yeah. Flyer? This is the last scripture for you, and then we're going to deal with the brother here who's been very patient. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 31, verse 16. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath. Shall do what? Shall keep the Sabbath. You hear that, brother TC, as you walk away, we shall keep the Sabbath. That's, That's right. right. To observe the Sabbath throughout their generations. For generation to generation. You, your children, your children's children. Read. For a perpetual covenant. For what? For a perpetual covenant. For an everlasting covenant. That's an everlasting agreement or contract with the Most High God. Bring it out. 
It is a sign between me and the children of Israel. The Sabbath day is a sign between God and his chosen people. You so-called blacks and Hispanics. It is a sign between us and the Most High God to keep the Sabbath day. That's right. right. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. Because we want to be like our daddy. We want to be like our father, who is the most high God. That's right. He did everything from Sunday to Friday. And on the Sabbath day, he rested and became refreshed. That's right. That's what we want to do. We want to be like our father. So we keep the commandments. Sir, you've been real patient. What's your name? Yeah. Terrence. All right, my name's Ruben. Nice to meet you. All right, so you understood, I think, a lot maybe what we were teaching, that you are Israelite. Are you, is your father a so-called Bahamian, Haitian, Jamaican? Where are you from? Cat Island. Cat Island. So he's a Bahamian. All right. I got some people from Cat Island too. So ben Benjamin means you from what? They call us the West Indies, but God said we are the Benjamites. We are the Israelites from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. One of the things Jeez. commanded of us is to keep the commandments. The, thing, the reason why a lot of our people work on the Sabbath day is that we suffer um, low, low, uh, what do you call it? Um, low wages. We live in poor communities. Right. All these things happen to us because what? We were a royal chosen people, but we broke God's commandments. God, you can see some of the signs here. God put us in slavery under our oppressors, under the white man, the Arab man, the Chinese man. All the nations of the earth had us and our forefathers in slavery. It's a deep, dark secret they keep about our history and our lineage. They only give us just a little bit. But the whole truth is that we descend from a royal people. So now as a royal people, as I was reading to, to Brother T.C. in Deuteronomy chapter 10 and 12, there's some things required of us. Because now you wake up and understand that what? I'm an Israelite. Have you ever heard this before? Okay, so you heard this before. But now it's time to actually act on that. Now it's actually time to bring about the action of the words behind it. Because when you see uh, an example, you see a policeman. He's what? Wearing a uniform. You can see it. You can identify that he's wearing a uniform. He has to carry himself a certain way as a professional. He has to carry a badge or a gun or whatever the case is. It's the same thing as the Israelite. When we see our Israelite brother, we're supposed to know, hey, that's my brother, he's an Israelite. Hey, Shalom, bro, how you doing? Happy Sabbath. But I can't see that on you right now because what, you're not keeping the commandments. You probably didn't know. You probably knew you're Israelite, but you didn't know you had to keep the commandments. So we are here to teach our people, all our people out here, that they gotta keep the commandments and the faith in Christ, the black Messiah. That's right! That's, That's what this right. whole book is about, so we can rule over the other nations, so we can come back to our power again. Right! Teach. And we can have our land back, and all the things that were taken from us. So let me read a couple of scriptures to you to reinforce everything that I just said. Read that. 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10. And verse 12. Bring it out. And now Israel. Now Israel, brother Terence, right? Now that you know and you come into the knowledge of the truth. Knowledge of the truth. Very good. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So to love him, to serve him, to come back to him. Let's summarize it right now in this next verse. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So we're supposed to keep the commandments. Mic check, mic check, mic down. So we're supposed to keep the commandments and the faith of Christ so that we could what? Be successful. Joshua 1 and 8. That's right. Joshua 1 and 8. So we can have some good success. Because our people right now, they're suffering. Our people right now, they're in a low state. Our people right now, they, they don't have knowledge of self. Because that's what you mentioned, you, you came in into the knowledge of the truth. But what we're reinforcing is that there has to be actions behind it. Joshua 1 and 8, read that, read it strong. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Bring it out. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So we're supposed to meditate day and night in these commandments because what? This is our this is our constitution. This, these are our laws. These were given to us, only us. Right. It wasn't given to all the other nations and the white man. Right. Only to the 12 tribes of Israel. Reach. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So we're supposed to do everything that's written in this Bible. Not some things like they teach in church. You can pick one or two commandments. Or it's only Ten Commandments, when the Ten Commandments really is the umbrella for the other 600 plus commandments. That's, That's right. right! For then 
Thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Brother Terrence, then when you start to observe these commandments every day, when you meditate in these laws and these statutes, then you shall make your way prosperous. Then you wouldn't have to be working on the Sabbath day. Because I see, it looks like you're working today. All right, when you're not supposed to, according to the Bible. That's, and that's right. That's what you teach our people. Some people know, and they still do it, and some people don't know. I pray that you didn't know, and now, Lord's will, you're hearing the truth of the Bible. You have, you have like-minded brothers here who can teach you more about the scriptures. We have a school on East Street. Uh, it's on, you got a flyer already? All right, give me. Brian. And then thou shalt have good success. And then thou shalt have good success. That's it on that? Give me repentance real quick. Give me repentance real quick. Okay. Acts chapter 5. Read that. So it's only fit and fair that I give you what an example of how to repent. The importance of how to repent out of the Bible. Because repent just means you go on one way and you turn around and you found the right way and you change your direction. That's all repentance means. Read that. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 31. Uh -huh. Him had God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. So the Most High God exalted Christ, the black Messiah, to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel. So repentance first and foremost is for the Israelites. That, that's what this Bible is talking about. The Israelites coming back and receiving repentance from a black Messiah. Teach. You understand that? All right. Read. And forgiveness of sins. Because the sins that we have committed, we could only the Israelites can be forgiven of those sins. Because only the Israelites, only the blacks and Hispanics can be forgiven because they only they, they were given the laws. You understand that? Because in the churches, they say, oh, everybody can be forgiven. Everybody can sin. All of us have sin. All of the twelve tribes have sin. You understand? The reason why. Other nations like the Arabs, the Chinese, the Japanese, they eat abominable food. Right. They make war against other nations. Right. Right. They put us in slavery and haven't paid for it. And the reason they can get away with all of that is because what? They don't have any laws that they have to keep. God ain't dealing with them like us. But because he dealt with us, now we get punished. We in the ghettos. We killing each other. Single parent homes. Drugs being sold to our brothers and sisters and our children. You understand? So the Most High God says, if you don't want to keep my commandments, then they can put all these curses upon our children for generations. Not just one generation, for generations, you understand? So this Bible is a real book, it's not a book of fairy tales. Last scripture, Revelation 22 and 14. Bring it out! Revelation 22 and verse 14. Because this, this is what we're all about. This is what this movement is all about. And this is happening all over the world. That's right. Not just here, all over the world. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Read Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. What we want to do is have right to eternal life. That's right. Eternal rulership. A kingdom that can never end. A kingdom that can never be challenged or destroyed. But to do that, we have to keep the commandments. That's, That's right. right. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels.
Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.